Welcome back guys to the channel. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak a first generation iPod Touch on iOS 3.1.3 using Red Snow. You need iOS 8 or lower. This will not work on iOS 10. I don't know if it's working on a VM. I haven't tried it, but I know from experience Red Snow does not play well with iOS 10. So to start, you would need Red Snow, the ISP IPSW file, which will be linked in the description, and the older version of iTunes I have. We also link in the description down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with plugging in the iPod, which I have somewhere, hopefully. Yep, it's right down there. Plug it in. Here, turn. It's going to boot up, set it off, but we're going to open up Red Snow. Run. Turn. Uh, minimize that. I'm going to go to Extras. You want to select your ISPW. Make it identify it. Go press back and press show it. It's gonna patch the kernel, everything. Alright, before we get started, make sure your iPod is off off, which mine is not, it just turned on. You're probably wondering, weren't you just on iOS 1.1? Yes, I just restored it for this video. But now, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say install Cydia and the battery percentage. You don't install anything else except Verbos boot if you want, you know, look cool, or boot logo and recovery logo. That's up to you. But I'm gonna press next. This is where you want to pay attention. This is the most critical part. I'm gonna press next. Follow the instructions Red Snow has, or you can follow instructions in this video. I don't know, it's up to you. I would say follow instructions in this video. Alright, now it's gonna wait for reboot. Now it's gonna, um, You'll see some stuff on your iPod. If I had a free hand, I would pause it and go to my phone, but... Now it's gonna, um, you'll see some stuff on your iPod. If I had a free hand, I would pause it and go to my phone, but I can just show you after the video. But it's going to update your RAM disk. It's going to download jailbreak data. Update your kernel, everything like that. Then you're going to get a verbose boot. But it's going to reboot right now. You get a verbose boot, which is the... I love it, but I don't know why. I, I like seeing the Apple logo when it turns on. This is currently, I think, a tie between something in the pull system. I'll... Probably show it. I'll cut to it. And then once you see this screen. It's going to be flashing everything. Okay. Is it possible to do that? Yeah, it probably is. But I've there's only been one instant where it's crashed. Hopefully we don't have that today. But, um. The classic red snow, the running pineapple, removing your applications. After this, this is where we don't need the computer. We can just run it off here. I'm just going to sit this down on my iMac or my MacBook and I'll pause the recording. back up you can unplug it here that's what i've seen people do but i like to keep it plugged in just in case i might unplug it but um it's still a beautiful device it's kind of a shame how uh the app store didn't age well you can't really get games anymore so i'm going to show you how to how to put ipas on your ipod or iphone it's gonna be ios 6 or below um, there are different ways for every different version, so I'm going to show you how to do an, iOS, an iPhone with iOS 6. 
which I have my iPhone 4 or my 3GS. I can probably get the on iOS 6 again. I have two motherboards that work. Uh, for iOS 4, I have the second generation touch. As you can see, it's been fully restored, so I can show you how to do it. Show you how to jailbreak and everything. This is a very fun video. It's going to need Windows XP. And then you have this one, which would be also in that video. So it's going to be three different parts. I don't know about iOS 5. It might be the same iOS 6, but I don't have anything to test it with iOS 5. I want to get a third generation iPod so I can do that. But it's going to be installing the bundles. Re rebooting. And if you had Verbos boot, this is where it would have the lines of code going through. And as we put that down, I'm going to open up something on my computer so I know what we have to do for the... Uh, for iOS 3. Where is it? I was to respiratory or repo, I would say. I have it somewhere. I gotta find it. I am not prepared at all for legacy jailbreak. There you go. In the video, I'll have the link on screen. In, in and in the description, but uh, I'm gonna get here. If it's successful, it will show Cydia. And let's actually change where the focus is at. I'm gonna use user. Uh, oh, hold on. Put the. Uh, make sure your Wi Fi password it is in. Mainly because um, you're gonna need that. Just done. Wi Fi should pop. Yep, there you go. Network air. You're gonna get network air because it is secured and all that. I'm gonna go to manage. Is it manage settings? Done. Uh, sources. No. Yes, here, add. And, uh, you wanna put in Cydia. If I can type that dot inbox i play it's dot uk slash let's just do dot uk if that doesn't work we'll do the dot. all right now here's where part you want to listen it's going to say network error, but you want to hold on to it until that reload. Don't even press any of these buttons. It's doing something in the background. You're going to wait until that reload button turns into a done button. And it's going to take a little while, but actually we can unplug this from the computer. We don't even need to plug in at the moment. I think it's unplugged with one hand. Hold on. Okay. So while we wait, I'll have, and I'll cut it. I'll cut it. Okay. Now that it has been turned to a close button, you want to do a complete upgrade, which it should hopefully not crash. And then it's going to say confirm and do confirm, and then you're going to wait. Wait till that reload button becomes a close button. But as you can see, it's doing stuff in the background. And we'll be, um, I mean, we can wait a little bit, but we'll be back when it's finished. All right, now when that reload, actually, yeah, the cancel button should be gone. You press reload. Oh, actually. Um, hold on. Don't. Don't press reload. Don't do what I did. Don't do not do that. I'll be right back. All right, you want to wait till reloading data shows up again? I should have waited. But. 
Here we go. And then it's gonna restart the springboard and then everything should be completely upgraded with Cydia. And we'll wait for the next part. All right, when it's done, it should say loading, and then close. I don't know what this next part, I don't know if we should restart the device or not. If it's gonna want us to restart it, then you restart it. Looks like it is loading normally. Alright, we're gonna try this again. I restarted the iPod. Probably shouldn't do that, but once you you're gonna let it load. And when it's done loading, it'll probably take a little while, but Alright, when it's finished loading, you're gonna get the screen response, press close. Then you wanna go to uh, sources, I haven't been here in a while, as you can see. Sources, you want to go to IPG CD repo. I'm gonna press, actually, no, to press all. HTTP patch, install. Confirm. And then you're gonna wanna wait for reloading data like this. All right, as I said it, we got it. I was gonna say we would have to do another cut. That background noise is the, the computer running Windows 7. It also runs Windows XP for us and then Windows 10 when I need it. It's gonna be unable to load, press close. We have, I guess, two loading bars, you know, do a load, you know. Um, don't think it's supposed to do this. There you go, and now it refreshed the springboard. City has open that up again. And we should have the HTTPS now. And it should work, it shouldn't say, uh, unable to load, it should load, hopefully. There you go. Open Cydia. That's it. I think. Hold on. Let me go check. That's it. But if you want to add something else, we have this is a little thing you just do iOS 3. Dot slash at source. It's gonna verify the URL. Now you see it, you get these instead of, you know, unable to load. Uh, it's going to be reloading the data as before. And you will need this for the next video on me showing you how to add games to iOS 6, iOS 4, and iOS three i don't have a method for ios 5 since i don't have a device for ios 5 but i'm thinking it is the same way for ios 6.
If not, um, in that video, you can tell me. So while we wait, as you can see, my screensaver is going on. Let's return to Cydia. It should be the iOS 3 party and well, iPhone OS 3. They still call it I iPhone OS 3 back then. I don't know why I pressed that. All packages. And then you should have App Sync for iOS 3.1, 3.2. I, I don't even want to install these ones. They're going to make it lag. You can see you have Ultra Snow. If you can click it. Probably. But for the, for the, um, the app sync, I would say 3.1. Because this is 3.1.3. .3. It might work. It should work. Modify. Install. You want to install that. And wait for my next video to come out. Mainly because I have to find a way to get games onto these old versions. Which I probably have a way for only two of them. iOS 6 is a different method. I think. Yeah, yeah, it is a different method. I use three tools for iOS 6, but... You still need uh, City of Rollis and AppSync. Let's say reloading data. Also, actually, not, I think it is running Linux. I think these do run Linux, but technically it's Mac OS. These are early versions. And now we should have it. And that's the video. See you guys later. Keep an eye out for my next video. It's going to be about jailbreaking a iPod Touch second generation. And after that, it will be the how to get apps on these because I still have to jailbreak that to show you how to do that. Thank you guys for watching.